animatedanatomy.com. In this lesson, I will be talking about the male reproductive system, and I will be making this video because one of my uh, fans from San Diego had a major surgery in this area, and he made a request for me to make the video so he understands the anatomy better. And I'm also remaking this video because my old video on male reproductive system got restricted by YouTube and they marked it as a sexual content, which is ridiculous. So basically, that's, those are the two reasons why I'm remaking this video. So let's start by explaining the two major sex organs that includes the penis here. And we have the testicles. And testicles is basically where the uh, sperm cells are produced, which later uh, travel through the penis and they enter the vagina. And that's how the egg cell in the female body gets, fer gets fertilized. I talked about that in my other video on female reproductive uh, system. And I explained how it develops into an embryo and how it how the child is born. So let's start by explaining the penis. Uh, as you can see here there are two different structures here. This one here is the glans penis and this is the corpus cavernosum. If we add skin on it we would normally call this part of the penis shaft. So the human skin goes like this and it goes over the penis here over the shaft and then a small portion of this skin goes over the um, over the glands. So to this skin can be it used to be a very big problem in the history because of the infections and everything that could happen here. So people developed a surgical procedure called circumcision in order to remove this part of the skin, right? So <laughs> of course not to remove the glands of the penis, but just to remove this portion of the skin. Uh this uh circumcision uh, the healthcare provider will most likely numb the penis by injecting the anesthetics here uh, in the bottom of the penis and uh, it, it heals quite quickly right it's not so scary as it sounds now some people do that circumcision not because of the medical reasons they most recently they just do it for religious reasons and here we have the meatus it's the place through which urine stream is uh, coming out it's something that could be compared with uh, urethral opening in vagina of course it's basically the same function however here we also have additional function and that's also the semen flow during the uh, sex intercourse during the sexual intercourse between the female and man uh, now as you can see the testicles are here and that's where the sperm cells are produced and then they go through vas deferens and they through the prostate and then they enter uh, here in the uh, corpus spongiosum of the penis right it's the body between or below these uh, cavernosum bodies of the penis it enters here but it doesn't really enter that it enters when I remove it you will see it it enters actually the urethra of of the um, of a human and that's how it exits the human body here through the urethra that's why in male body urethra has one additional function so now we're looking at the venus from the superior point of view and if you can just remember like a few seconds ago I mentioned some structures and here we have the for example the corpus cavernosum of the penis on the left side and on the right side as well we have the corpus cavernosum down underneath we would be able to find the corpus spongiosum of the penis now these bodies are important for the erection as well they are like sponge-like tissue they are filled with blood through the cavernosal arteries that are going through them right we cannot see them from this point of view and there are also connections for example here through the dor dorsal arteries of the penis these two arteries here now you're probably wondering okay it comes in there what happens well you get an erection and and the blood comes to your head and you still don't get an erection so what's the deal how does this mechanism work basically <clears throat> this artery here is the main artery that drains the blood away from the penis 
And there are other few arteries, but this is, let's say this is the main artery, and you can see the, these little arteries here also that that connect through to that artery. And once you have the increase of the pressure in the cavernosal bodies here, what happens is that this uh, this vein gets pressed on the fascia here in tunica albuginea, right? It gets so pressed in that way that it cannot drain blood anymore, right? It 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 obviously does drain, uh, but not as much as it should. So you have a a pressure difference here, and of course that causes the penis to inflate, and because it's kind of like a sponge-like tissue, it grows in size and it grows in strength, and that's how you get the erection. Now that you understand the erection mechanism, it is also important to talk a little bit about the length of the penis. The length of the penis can be increased by cutting this ligament here, a uh, fundiform ligament. It's a suspensory ligament for the penis and that gives you a little bit more extra length or I, I wouldn't say it gives you length, it just makes your penis more uh, more, more forward and it, 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 it kind of like makes it look bigger, right? So this can have serious consequences, it, this can have serious consequences because here you can see we have the dorsal nerves coming out and uh, there, ha there are multiple studies that have confirmed that uh, people who had had this um, surgery actually ended up with some loss of sensitivity which is quite irritating I would say. Now we're looking at the sagittal section of the body and you can see here uh, the structures I mentioned earlier uh, quite important structures but we were not able to see them in our previous image for example the urethra, you can see the urethra here uh, it's here is the prostate and the urethra from here all the way to the external urethral opening. Now urethra is draining the urine from the bladder. Okay. Now as I mentioned urethra had one extra function and that is the drainage of the semen and here you can see it clearly how testicles are the ones that produce the sperm cells then the sperm cells go through here to the vas deferens then through ejaculatory duct here and then they enter urethra again and they can be ejaculated further. Now since we already reached this topic I will immediately start explaining the, the scrotum and I will start explaining the testicles, right? <clears throat> now remember in penis we had a tunica albuginea and that was important for the erection process in order to uh, compress the dorsal vein of the penis. Now here this uh, albuginea tunica is expanding and it also covers the testicles. This is that tunica here. And here inside it goes in as a septum uh, and it separates basically uh, seminal vesicle lobules here. Now the seminal vesicle lobules from here they continue as the straight uh, vesicles. Now the Seminal vesicle lobules, they, here you have from them coming out the straight tubuli and the straight tubuli at this part are called the red testis. Now the product of, uh, of testicles continues to flow um, through the efferent ductuli here and here and it enters the body of epididymis. Now the epididymis is already another organ here and it has um, certain parts. It's here we have the tail of the epididymis. Here we have the head of the epididymis. And here you can see the body of the epididymis. Now, if we look at our 3D model, we can zoom in here. And here is this organ epididymis. And basically, the epididymis is the organ that connects the testicles with the vas deferens. Uh, vas deferens I mentioned earlier. Now, this looks quite messy. Let me. Let me remove some of these uh, drawings I made and let's use again, uh, let's use a different color. Uh, as I said here we had the head of the epididymis, then the body of the epididymis and here was the tail of the epididymis and it goes into disorder not because somebody just thought of it but because here at the tail 
the epidemitis is turning into vest deferens and that's how vest deferens is going further. Now we must look closer to the path of vest deferens because there are a few details important to mention. So here we have the vest deferens leaving the uh, epidemitis and as you can see it goes all the way here and then it turns into ampulla of ductus deferens. So this part of vest deferens it's called the ampulla of ductus deferens. That's at the very end and then further the vest deferens is here going through it's called the ejaculatory duct and it connects to the urethra. Basically that's how the ejaculation path goes. However, we one detail that I didn't mention earlier was that the seminal vesicle here is producing the fluid that is mixed with the uh, <clears throat> semen coming from the testicles and as such it's ejaculated outside. So exactly this organ here was the organ that one of my subscribers had removed. Uh, so hello to San Diego and if you're watching I hope you're recovering. I hope everything is okay. Now I don't know exactly the diagnosis that he had but I can assume already uh, that here this organ it very often develops a malignant tumor. And a malignant tumor in this uh, organ we prefer to remove the entire organ uh, as uh, as soon as possible because once this tumor reaches out and once it passes the capsule of the organ it, it, it starts growing much faster and you have it met it can metastase really quickly but if we do it on time the prognosis is good so we prefer to remove this organ and there then we're dealing with multiple other issues you see the nerves here that innervate this area uh, are either damaged or partially removed uh, during the surgery and this can cause issues in sexual function it can uh, it most common issue is inability to have an erection uh, bladder issues uh, inability to stop the urine flow now this uh, type of surgery was whole now we have a new surgery is the sparing nerve surgeries that were developed but and and it is a incredible improvement but I would still say it's not 100% improvement right now there are the other issues with this organ as well for example in er almost in every human we have the hyperplasia of the prostate gland as they age and this can cause uh, pain when sitting or it can cause the inability to to urinate for example because the urine flow is blocked so here you have the bladder and the urine cannot go out so what we can do for example in these older men that cannot urinate as they used to when they were young we can give them the medication to relax the sphincter here and that makes the urination process easier so here we can see it uh, in 3D we had the testicles, vest, uh, epidemitis, vest deferens here is the <clears throat> seminal vesicle that I said and both what comes from the vest deferens through the ejaculatory tract inside of prostate inside of the uh, prostate gland and what comes from the seminal vesicle it gets mixed in the prostate gland and then through the urethra here uh, through the urethra and the spongiosum body it exits the penis and it gets ejaculated. Now one thing I want to say I think it's important because people people confuse it quite often, right? Here we have the urinary system and this is the kidney, the right and the left kidney and this part is called the urethra, right? It is not called the urethra and people confuse this often. They can, so urethra is before the bladder, here is the bladder and the urethra comes after the bladder. So, but don't confuse it, this belongs to the urinary uh, tract. And now I hope that YouTube will not restrict this video because this video is really not sexual content. They, I hope they will not restrict this video because this video is really just a educational uh, video. We don't even show the real human parts. We show the imitation of it, the 3D models. And remember we had the testicles, we had the seminal vesicle, vest deferens, spongiosum body, cor uh, cavernosum body, Lens penis, and we had here, of course, I, rem I, I said the, the seminal vesicle as well. 
Uh, oh yeah, inside here we had the urethra. And not the urethra, but the urethra here, right? Prostate gland was here. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description, or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.